I shared a post the other day about the benefit of playing to your strengths. So when you're playing to your strengths, you are more productive, you're more focused. It improves your well-being and you have higher levels of, of job satisfaction. So there's some real benefits to playing to your strengths. But if I asked you what your strengths were, you'd find it quite difficult to list them for me. However, if I ask you what your weaknesses are, your areas for improvement, I'm sure that you'd come up with a really long list quite quickly. And that's because the brain is wired to look for danger. It's wired to look for negative you know, opportunities for improvement. So we have to make the brain work a little bit harder when we're thinking about our strengths. Now, if I said to you, what are strengths? You might say, well, it's something that you're really good at. But I'm sure that there's plenty of things that you're good at, but that you don't really enjoy. So strengths are something that you enjoy, that you're energised by, um, and that you're also uh, good at or have the potential to become good at. So have a think about what are the things that you completely lose all sense of time when you're doing so something that you, you know, you start doing it and then the next thing you know, hours have passed. What are the things that you do that you get really excited about that you can't wait to do? The things that you have a tendency to do first when you put everything else off. And what are the things that you do that make you feel energised? You, you know, it feels like this is the real you, that you've, you've found the real you. Those are the things that are potentially your strengths. So make a list of those things, write them all down. And then I will share another video to tell you what you can do moving on from there to make sure that you're making the best of your strengths and gaining that productivity, that satisfaction and that energy that you're looking for.